Welcome everybody. Today's video finds us over here in the Patkret district of Natanabri. And we're gonna take a look at a temple that's over here that's built in about 1597 or so. And I know I'll tear up the name, but it's uh, Wat Bangpu Nok. And it's named after the Bangpu Canal. And it's over here just north of Patkret or uh, Kokret, the island over here, there are people come over and uh, do some shopping and stuff like that. But anyway, let's walk through the little community over here and then we'll go look at the temple and uh, see what we see. We are just off the Chow Praia. The Chow Praia is over that away. But I can't get to it because the, uh, the little alleys and stuff like that dead end. They have gates and stuff like that. But all these houses are built up on these stilts because the Chow Praia does flood and the little canal that's right here floods also. So it's kind of a cool area with a bunch of the old style wooden houses. And this is just how they live. They ride their motorcycles up here and they have some little boats and stuff like that. But yeah, this is pretty cool. And the water is kind of brackish, so I'm sure they have a Serious problem with the mosquitoes here. Got a lady over there cutting on the banana tree, cutting the leaves off. And they have uh, part of their little garden. And this is the canal right here. You can see that's one of the locks over there so they can control the water in the canal. And then it just has this little footbridge and then uh, more of the houses and stuff and another temple over there. That's not the one we're gonna take a look at but we're gonna see another one that's over here in this area. Yeah, I love coming to little places like this and you kind of see how, how they live. So she does the laundry and stuff right here. And then it has this little concrete walkway. And you can see they just ride their motorcycles up, have a little parking for that. And the wooden style houses. Now when you're walking through these places like this, you'll come across, they'll have motorcycles and you have to just kind of dodge the best you can. It is so humid here. I mean, it's like sticky wet. And in the front of their house, this uh, little convenience store. So they sell the snacks and cooking supplies, stuff like that. And it just goes, it kind of just winds all around and uh, can get lost in here pretty easy. And then we're coming up, this is the temple we'll take a look at. And you can see it just a side channel off the canal. and some more of their houses, little balconies, <laughs> hanging out the clothes. All right, let's go look at the temple now. They have a little shrine right here. It's kind of interesting. And that's the front of like the mythical bird that goes up on the gable. And you can see they've painted a face on it. Kind of different, I haven't seen them do that before. And the people come over and uh, leave the offerings and stuff. This is just some little spirit house. And then they just have this Quonset with a few figures and stuff like that. And a guy on a motorcycle going through. Over here they have a, like an open air general purpose hall. Has the scenes of the hell. And they're doing some ceremonies, so all the monks are over here. And then they have the main Buddha image up there. Right, we won't disturb them, they're doing that little ceremony. Over here, this is the hall that I wanted to come see. Before we go over there and see that, let's take a look right here at this really quick. Yeah, this is what I wanted to see here. This is the crematorium. And what's interesting is you see the four faces up there on the top. But what they do is during a funeral, they uh, put the body in here, the monks take care of it. And you'll see the smoke coming out of the smokestacks whenever they're uh, taking care of one of the bodies. And then over here are all the ashes of people that have been cremated at this temple. And they have a whole ceremony over here. This is the section, the families will come and they'll sit here on the chairs. The monks will do their thing. And this is the little buggy that they take the, the body on. And uh, monks will sit up here and uh, this is where they do the funerals and they have the flowers and stuff. So it looks like they're maybe getting ready for one later on. This is the old chapel hall. 
You can see the styling on the front right there. And kind of a cool little Naga fountain with some uh, lotuses. And then they have a couple chetties here by the entrance. And then this is the rest of the temple grounds over here. They have like an elephant, they have a Ganesh, and over there is like the monk quarters and stuff like that. And then the gate, and that's the main road that goes into Natanabury. And then over here they have a place, they do like alternative medicine. And so you can buy some uh, herbs and stuff like that if you have any ailments. Now this temple hall here was built in 1597 and it was given a, the royal award in like 1636 or something like that. I'll put the best description I can into the video so you can read a little bit more about it. And it is a royal temple. So you'll see the double Bua Sima stones right here. And I've been over to this temple once before and they were renovating and I'll show you what they did with the renovation. And it's kind of interesting in the foundation. So you see here, this is bowed like a boat. And then it has like the, the traveling monk. And then over here has the, like some little Garudas and stuff like that around the door. But underneath the foundation over here, when I came last time, this was all like they were doing work and stuff like that underneath here. But you could walk underneath the temple, but now what they've done is they've flooded it and they put fish in here, which is kind of different. And then uh, you can see here's the Buasima stones. And in this old piece of wood, they've carved and made it into kind of like a little shrine. And this is the backside. So it has these two faux doorways that I don't know if they were open before, but now they're sealed off. And you can see up there is like that mythical bird that they've taken and made that one spirit house into. You can see the Nagas and those are kind of the Naga. They have like the elephant tusks and stuff. Kind of cool looking. Okay, so uh, let's go inside now and I'll show you what they renovated. So you can see the normal high threshold here. Yeah, this isn't as ornate as what you see with the Bangkok styling. I, I like the Ayutthaya style temples a lot. It's a little dark in here. Let's turn some lights on. Okay, so here we go. This is the principal Buddha at this temple. And all the renovations they did is most of these ordination halls will have mural paintings of some kind. But what they've done is they've went in here and they've done it all out of plaster. And it's just a silver color. So they've put this all on the walls, which is something I've never seen in uh, one of these temples inside. I've seen them do all of this outside. But you can see the detail work that they've put into each one of these. And they'll do all of this by hand. They'll put the plaster on it and the artist will sit here and just kind of uh, etch at it. And you can see here, he even has like a, a mustache that comes off, off of his face. And then you see like the demons and just the various scenes. So this would normally be like the scenes of the Jataka, but what they've done is they've done it out of plaster instead of paint. So you can see horses and see somebody riding an elephant up there. And you can see the roof. So this is the Ayotia styling. They've done like the little flowers and all that old teak wood. And you can see how weathered it is. It's really, really, really old. I mean, this, uh, this building here itself is over 400 years old. The Buddha, they say, is only around 200 years old. And you can see they put the lights and the umbrella and stuff like that. And then right here, this is the platform for the monks. So you can't go up there. And they have the mats and all of that. So you can see it's already broken. He's holding a guitar and the neck of the guitar is broken off. Yeah, I don't know how long this will survive because the, the building itself will crack also and it'll cause these murals to all crack. One last little look here at this building. You can see the little naga up there on the gables and then the Buasima stones and the big gong they have. And then that, this here's the other side of it where it has another stairwell, but it's all flooded with, uh, with water. And then the short little porch on the front. Yeah, I really like uh, these. It's a cool little building. Then over here, this is the place the monks hang out and give you some of the little blessings. And you can buy some of the medicine and everything here for, uh, for some of your ailments. I think that's what all this stuff is over here. 
So if you have like arthritis or whatever, people come over here and buy some herbal remedies. So that's going to finish up a short little video over here at Wat Bang Pu Nok. This is an interesting enough temple. It's not overly huge. The main attraction is this one ordination hall, which is pretty cool to see. Uh, the one hall we uh, saw, they were doing the ceremony. I didn't want to disturb them, but it's just kind of an open air general purpose hall. Nothing really exciting about it. But uh, anyway, this is just off the Chow Praia River and it's over here in Pat Cret area of Natanaburi. And if you're over here going to like uh, Cochrete or something like that and you just want something to do, uh, swing over here and take a look at this. If you like the old temples like I do, this is uh, why I came over. So anyway, if you, uh, if you like the video, smash like. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And uh, this is something that not too many people are showing. I'm off the touristy trail. This is just out here where the locals go to uh, go to the temple to pray and stuff like that. So if you like this, definitely subscribe, stick around, and you're notified whenever I uh, post a new video. And until next time, from over here in Pakret area of Natanaburi, remember, life is a journey. Until next time, enjoy. Enjoy.